What we want to talk about today is Canada's new low-risk alcohol drinking guidelines, what they are and what they mean to you. This is really about how to reduce your risk when drinking alcohol, or how to rethink your drinking. Before we get too far, we should first talk about what a standard drink actually is, since what one drink is to me might be very different from what one drink is to you. When we talk about a standard sized glass of wine, we don't mean that large glass that can fit an entire bottle. What we do mean is 5 ounces, or 142 milliliters, of wine, which is a standard drink. What about beer? Is it that keg sized draft beer that's as big as your head? A standard drink of beer is 12 ounces, or 341 mils, which is found in a typical bottle of beer. So what about the hard stuff? One and a half ounces, or 43 milliliters serving size of any hard liquor is one standard drink. Let's recap what one standard drink is. Five ounces, or 142 milliliters of wine, equals 12 ounces, or 341 milliliters of beer which also equals one and a half ounces or 43 milliliters of hard liquor. Each of these equals one standard drink. So now that you know what one standard drink is, let's look at how else you can rethink your drinking. To lower your risk of alcohol-related injuries and diseases, follow these low-risk alcohol drinking guidelines. If you are a healthy man, drink no more than three standard drinks in one day and no more than 15 standard drinks in a week. But remember, less is always best. Every week should have at least two days without drinking to avoid it becoming a habit. If you're a healthy woman, drink no more than two standard drinks in a day and no more than 10 standard drinks in a week. Again, less is always best. Every week should have at least two days without drinking to avoid it becoming a habit. Remember, these are maximum amounts to decrease your risk of injury and chronic disease, so less is always best. All right, so now that you know what one standard drink is and how to rethink your drinking to lower your risk of alcohol-related injuries and disease, let's talk about when zero alcohol is the limit, like when driving a vehicle or taking medication that's not to be mixed with alcohol or doing something like high-risk activities. Zero alcohol is also the limit when not recommended by your healthcare provider if you're pregnant or planning to become pregnant, or making important decisions. Zero alcohol should also be the limit when you're responsible for the safety of others. Okay, let's bring it all together now. When you rethink your drinking, keep in mind what a standard drink is, your daily and weekly limits, and when zero is the limit. For more information, speak with your healthcare provider or contact your local public health unit.